The third thing in the list is weights. This is so critically important. And it is the absolute most overlooked thing that people do, especially women. Okay? Women go, oh, well, I don't need to lift the weights because, you know, I'm just trying to burn fat. It's all about fat loss for me. And, you know, I'm just going to do the cardio and I'm going to do the diet. Okay? Well, remember, muscle is what burns calories. Okay? And muscle is what burns fat. So the more muscle we have, the more fat we burn. Right? When we train with weights, we give our body a reason to preserve the muscle because it needs to maintain that strength. Okay? And it needs to be able to, it adapts to training to protect itself the same way that it adapts to diet. So when you see someone like me, a bodybuilder, with muscles all over the place, that's actually my body's defense mechanism because I've been abusing it in the gym. Like it doesn't want my bones to break and stuff. Like when I, okay, what is this crazy dude doing? Is he picking up 500 pounds again? We better put some muscle there to stop this thing, right? It's not like, oh, this is great, let's build some muscle. It's a defense mechanism to keep us, it's a survival mechanism. It's the way God created us. So calories and fat are burned in muscle, less, less calories, uh, less muscle, less fat burning, and guess what? Like I said earlier, the less you're allowed to eat. That's why I can eat 4,000 calories a day and I don't gain any weight, right? So. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so this is the most amazing thing for women to understand. Weight training has a greater effect on your resting metabolic rate than cardio. When you do your cardio, you're essentially burning calories while you're doing it. Okay? That's it. You're pretty much done. Yeah, you're, it's elevated a little bit afterwards. But when you're training with weights, number one, it burns more calories. And when you're done, it actually, depending on the intensity of your workout, like how heavy and intense you're going, it continues to, to elevate your metabolism up to 72 hours after your weight training workout. So if you want to burn fat, weight training is critically important. That's why I always tell all the girls, do your weights in the gym first, then do your cardio, okay? Weight training first, then your cardio. Also, your blood, sh all of the muscle glycogen is gone and you're gonna burn a higher percentage of fat at the time you're doing your cardio because there's no sugar left because you burned it all in your weights. The only exception is, is if you're the type of person that will not do your cardio after your weights. So you go in, you do your weights, and you're like, oh, I'm, oh I gotta go. You know, like, I'm not going to do my cardio. No, I'm hungry now. I'm gone, right? Yeah, so I will make those people like, okay, look, every time you do your weights, you're missing your cardio. You do your cardio first, okay? Because I, I don't trust you, okay? You do it first. It's not ideal, though, right? But it gets done. So um, recommended amount of weights. Now, that's different for every single person. And depending on your goal, your fitness level, your abilities, all of that. Um, examples of goals, some people just want to lose fat. They could care less about the muscle, any of the, what I'm talking about. But they need to maintain muscle if you want to burn that fat. Or you're going to end up in that situation we started with. Then there's the person who wants to lose fat and gain muscle. right? Or someone who just wants to gain muscle. Okay, so They don't care if they gain fat. I have a rule for that. If you just want to get big and gain muscle, that's cool. Um, but if you get, don't ever gain more fat than you're gaining muscle. So if you, if you gain um, two pounds and all two pounds are muscle, that's ideal. If you gain two pounds and one pound is fat and one is muscle, that's still acceptable not ideal, but if you gain three pounds and two are fat and one in mu are muscle, you're going the wrong direction, okay? So that's important to consider. The last thing on this list is supplements. Are supplements necessary? No, they are not necessary. They are nutritional supplements. So I own a supplement company. That's how I make my living. 
That's how I pay my bills and feed my family. And I'm telling you right now, they are not necessary, okay? Everybody will try to sell you all some some sort of magic, whatever. You have to have this, that, whatever. You don't have to have any of that, okay? You don't have to do it. They're designed to add to, and they're they're not magic, okay? Like there's no magic pill that's gonna burn this fat or take the place of a good diet. Supplements are what they say, they supplement. They supplement a good nutrition and exercise plan, okay? Um, But they are extremely beneficial. You don't have to have them, but when you do, they can help you get to your goal faster and easier and help you get to goals that you couldn't achieve without them. So like for me, I take, you know, my creatine, right? And I would not be able to lift the amount of weight that I lift for the, the period of time that I do if I didn't take that. It's a fuel. So it'd be like, well, yeah, I want to um, go drive to the mountains and see the snow, but I only have a gallon of gas. Okay? I'm not going to the mountains. <laughs> okay? But if I put enough fuel in the car, I can go. It's the same thing with supplements. You you can take certain things to help you get to certain places you wouldn't be able to go um, without it. Um, One area where they're they're really good is like the shakes and and vitamins is that they give you nutrients without all the calories. Okay? So like if you eat a chicken breast or, you know, chicken thigh especially, you know, with higher calories, more fat, you're going to get more calories per gram of protein because there's fat and other stuff there. So with a shake, you're gonna get less calories. So they're they're easy. So reasons for supplementation, improve overall health. Someone like that would just take a multivitamin, some essential fatty acids. Um, Another goal would be altering body composition, like what we're talking about here. And you know, fat loss products, which speed up your metabolism, help you burn more calories, help suppress your hunger and cravings and stuff and help you recover after your workout products. And then people that are athletes trying to improve performance, you know, there's performance enhancers and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. (laughs) 